Hey guys, what is up? Don't know two here. And Prime Mittens. Um, this is going to be our second take in this bloody video because Mega Man will just take all the glory in the first video and it just drowned us out. So we have to replumb and do this. So obviously, if you haven't watched the first video, um, we're going to be watching. Uh, we're going to be watching. We're going to be talking about Manny Number no. Nine's new trailer, which came out the other day. Um, I'm just giving our thoughts on it. We're both looking forward to the game, but there's a few things that we thought was kind of off about it. Um, what did you think of it, personally? Well, I said in the last video that I didn't like the trailer. Mm. And I mean, the reason I didn't suck interest it is because I was actually playing a game I enjoyed. Yeah. Well, was enjoying. Should I say sorry? Um, yeah, nice and be playing the worst fucking game of last gen. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm well, I'm well awake, ready to talk. I didn't like it because it seemed that it just there was no platforming. Yeah, it just it seems seemed to be, to be all like, action. It's not just all that. action. It just seems to be like um, you're mostly just. Like, die, air dashing through the levels, not just actually taking your time and being able to actually and, uh, enjoy the level properly. And another thing we didn't bring up last time, probably because it was my fault, is... Do you remember throughout the uh, trailer he keeps going on about combos? He's like, oh, you can string this combo, add to yeah. this combo, and all that there. And you're like, why? Yeah, I'm playing is, the game That's so weird. I just find school. that... So weird. So the like combos. What the hell? If I wanted, if I wanted a combo, I'd play fucking Street a Fighter slash or a bloody fight. <laughs> combo <laughs> pretty much. It's not Street Fighter Five. Huh. I, I do want to combo up, funny enough. But um. Yeah, I think... But yeah, the trailer wasn't. Yeah, obviously it wasn't the best, but the gameplay does still look pretty decent with those, and definitely I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, you could have bought Yeah, of course. I mean, next gen needs games. Yeah. But, uh, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. Not just remakes? I mean, of course. I mean, I. I've. I, I tend to like games that are bad. Yeah, no, that's. that's you, we, you and me both. You and me both. A lot worse. Except for this. The review of this game will be up soon and... Oh. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah. I tend to like the bad games and I think... I think you'll have to agree with me. It looks as if... Mighty Number no. 9 is going to be one of those bad games. It does, to be honest. To, to be honest, that actually reminded me more of Mega Man X than it did like, the original Mega Man series. Have you noticed? I think he does all the. Don't quote me on this, like, right? but I think most of his stuff is like air dashing and stuff like that. It's like moves, sort of like that. Oh, you on about uh, X? Yeah, they were the makers of the series, Kenji Afune. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it does look like Mega Man X. I agree, but uh, that's not a bad thing though. It's got... I should have put this. Not the Mega Man vibe as such, but... Well, to be honest, that's a good thing dare because... Dare I say Golden Axe? Yeah, it's, it sort of does, but that's sort of a good thing. You don't want it to be too much like Mega Man. Like, you don't want to be paying... And... <laughs> uh, however much it's going to be, knowing this generation of games and their pricey ass... Um, Speaking of that, though, um, is the game for last gen as well, or is it just PS4, I think it's Xbox, just Wii U, and PS4, Wii, Wii U, um, PC, and I think it's PC. Um, I think it's just yeah, this gen. I don't think it, it's yeah. last gen, but it is coming to the Vita and the 3DS. But the problem with that is, it's not going to be until a later date. So if you wanted to play it on like your 3DS or me, I wanted to play it on my Vita because obviously you don't have a Vita at the moment. Um, you'd have to wait a little bit longer. 
hopefully Kenji Fune actually makes it like um the way but a lot of, like, Shovel Knight is. Don't hopefully... get me wrong. Oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, don't get me wrong, I do like Kenji Fune. Like yeah. I've got nothing against him. Same with Shinji Mikami. Yeah, I like Shinji but... Mikami as well. But they have made some bad decisions. They've made some bad games. I mean, yeah. a lot of people don't actually realize that, you know, the Bionic Commando game that came out a few years back on PS3 and 360? Yeah. That was made by Kenji Afune. Oh, was it? That was his game. Uh, I looked something I didn't people, actually know. <laughs> I personally like the game if you remove the story and the controls work. Yeah. Then it's fun. Is that the but one uh, that... that's like 3D or the 2D one? It's the 3D one, the one with Spencer in it. Oh, right. So did he not make the 3D Which one? Which I actually like. Yeah. He's oh, he made the... the... Yeah, he's the one with the big mechanical arm. Oh, right. He's actually, like... I actually don't mind him as a character. Yeah. But, uh... We're going off topic. Anyway. Yeah. Kenji Afune has made some bad games. And... Did he... To be completely fair... Is uh, Mighty Number no. Nine going to be the same? Yeah, but who knows? It could be like fully enjoyable. We don't know that yet. True. I mean, probably not. It could just surprise everyone and end up being like one of the best games of the year. Yeah. But, but um, uh, there was a lot of put into it. And there's been a lot put into like Ukulele as well, which is another like Kickstarter game. I would rather have, I would rather have Ukulele. Yeah. <laughs> Mighty <laughs> number nine. Like as soon as you told me that was uh, rare, ex-rare developers, I was like, okay, I want this instead. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, hopefully Shinji Mikami. I'm not Shinji Mikami. Sorry, KJ Fune. Hopefully he does the right thing, and if, like, um, Shovel Knight, where if, obviously he didn't make Shovel Knight, but what I'm trying to say is, hopefully, if you buy the game, like, just say on PS4, Xbox, oh, not Xbox, Xbox doesn't have a handheld, just say you buy the thing on the Wii U or the PS4, you actually get, like, the 3DS or the Vita version with it. You get the handheld version. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully oh, the PC could the P- uh, Xbox could get the PC version of it. Oh, that's true, they could. Just to have, then that, if they did that there, then I would buy the Xbox version as well, just to have the PC version. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, nah, seriously, there's one thing we actually haven't brought up, which I think is something we're going to have to touch on. It. Is this, this game's been delayed so many times, is it going to be a day, day, patch, day one patch? How oh no. Is it? It's still going to date the uh, last girl, uh, the... The Lost Guardian, so it is. I couldn't even speak this morning. It's too early in the morning for me. No, it's Last Guardian, you're thinking of. It is Last Guardian. Yeah. You know about the Team Michael game? Yeah. It's, like the, it's becoming like that game, so it is, for God's sake. <laughs> Will that game ever be made? Well, supposedly that's coming out, but I don't think it's ever going to be made. Yeah, well, it's supposed to come out in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, here's the game. Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh, no, I'm like, I'm like 40 years old now. <laughs> I've been waiting for this game since 2009. Oh, shit, I remember when that was being made. <laughs> um. <laughs> nah, seriously. Are we gonna have a day one patch? And I honestly believe we are. Yes, because most games this gen do have day one patches. True. I mean, some games, de- like, some next-gen, not to bag next-gen all the time, but some no. games don't need them, and if they do, it's only to fix a little problem. It's yeah. not like, say, Doom or Uncharted, where it's like a five-gig day one, <laughs> just to fix fucking, just to finish the game off, essentially. I know. Or to put something in it. Yeah, because look at, um, look at games like Shovel Knight. Obviously, these aren't big budget games, like, but... They haven't needed a patch. Well, they've got a patch, but that was for um when the DLC came out but for Big Night. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of game like 
there is a lot of like small indie games like that that don't actually need patches. Yeah. But uh, I reckon this game is gonna need one. Yeah, it probably will to be honest. Like, I'm but still yeah. gonna, I'm still gonna buy the game, and I'm still invested in like buying it, and I'm still interested in buying it. Oh yeah, I've got it pre-ordered. Yeah, I, I think I do as well. I'm buying a day one. I don't give a shit. But uh, yeah, I think I think you'll agree. A lot of our expectations for the game have dropped. Yeah. But yeah, game, our expectations have dropped for a lot of games we've bought for, like, this generation of games. Like, Fallout 4. Absolutely yeah, or... love Fallout 3. Play Fallout 4. It was meh. It was like a building simulator. More of a building simulator than it was a Fallout game. They better not put that feature in an Elder Scrolls fucking 6. <laughs> um, um, but yeah. <laughs> We had higher that's expectations all really for I that. I know, that's all we want to really say about it, guys. It's, um, it well, was only supposed to be a quick video. If, if, if you wanted, like, the short and sweet version of it, we're still going to buy it regardless. We were going into it with low expectations. Not so much as low, but, you know, not really expecting much. much. Yeah, but that's that's really it for my part. Yeah, that's pretty much all we want to say, guys. Um, uh, what's a bit of sailor? I get too distracted with this game. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Are you gonna buy Mighty Number no. Nine? Let us know in the comment section below. Um, what did you think of the trailer as well, I... guys? Oh, go ahead. I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have two videos up. So, I mean, one for the review of this game I'm playing at the moment. Lovely. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, lovely. If you want a good laugh. Um, <laughs> and also like a pick. I want to try like a pickup video of like games that I've picked up this month. It's quite a lot. A lot of diversity of games. No Xbox games, but other systems. You got Wii, Wii U, PS2, PS3. Uh, 3DS, PS4, DS, you know, just stuff like that. A lot of games. Yeah. Um. But, uh, yeah. So. Stay tuned, guys, for his new videos and my new videos. I have, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, I was thinking of doing like a top ten hack and slash, my top ten favorite hack and slash list, which um, Perfect Men's actually said to me he would really enjoy seeing that. As there's a lot of good uh, hack and slash games to will probably make the list. So um, let us know what you think in the comment section below about Mighty Number no. Nine. Are you guys still gonna buy it? Um, are you guys uh, skeptical about it? Let us know in the comment section below. This is Dylan Matteo. Um, private mittens and bye bye. Bye guys.